Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Leo January 31, 2023. Today and tomorrow are excellent for building excitement and motivation. You're thinking creatively and enjoying different perspectives. The moon spends the day in your adventure sector, aligning with Uranus and harmonizing with Mercury, and sharing a vision, belief, or idea can be rewarding. Emotional refreshment seems to be about mental engagement today. It's a strong time for advancing a project or developing progressive new ideas about your next step. Helping to guide someone can be incredibly satisfying now. Conversations can be especially open, or more honesty with yourself can be eye-opening. You're not always the most forthright about your primal desires. However, today you could be singing a very different tune. As the glorious and sizzling sun peers over to feisty and mighty Mars, the planet of sex and passion, you'll be only concerned with one thing, getting it on and getting off. This sassy and spontaneous drive could align singles with someone who tickles their fancy and makes them beg for more. Couples should use this magnetic fire to focus on hitting the greatest heights of ecstasy together in the bedroom. You may not even make it to the bed if you're already eyeing each other up. Keep moving forward. You might feel like you are at a crossroads with your job between where you want to go or explore since the Sun in Aquarius squares the North Node in Taurus and the South Node in Scorpio. The squares may imply that you are unsure of moving forward from one comfort zone towards something that will lead to greater professional security. You may feel emotionally invested in taking a leap of faith since there will be an exalted first quarter moon in Taurus. Do not be afraid to try something new. The moon's departure from your financial sector yesterday has done more than leave you with your financial instincts and imagination fueled and a download of information to unpack. This was the moon's first visit since Jupiter's quest for financial growth and expansion got the green light but with Venus just three weeks away, your over-the-horizon radar is already picking up on a sense of anticipation from when the planets of money and luck get together. You may feel introverted with the kind of intense choices that could be weighing down on you. Don't forget to include your friends in your thinking. Talk out your concerns with people you trust. You won't have to do what other people tell you to do, but you will feel better knowing that you are not alone. Keep your perspective on these mental and emotional issues by constantly challenging yourself physically. Running is a great way to increase your strength if your knees can take it. When is the last time you and your family went out on an adventure? If it has been a while, this might just be the perfect day for this. The essence of this day makes for the ideal atmosphere for a little fun and excitement. Perhaps a picnic is in order. Even if you live in a place where it's 30 degrees below zero right now, set out a blanket on the living room floor and make believe. Everyone is sure to love this. As she spends her first weekend in your relationship sector, Venus has arrived at the perfect time to work her magic. Last year Venus didn't return until after the sun had moved through and after all the reality checks, while this year she has not only returned before that happens but for the first time in three years while Neptune is on his own here. This allows the planets of love and dreams to work their magic and for the next three weeks, there will be no call to keep your eyes open and feet on the ground. Instead, Venus and Neptune have a pair of rose-colored glasses tailor fitted for you. At the same time that Venus is spending her first weekend in your relationship sector, Uranus is spending his first in direct motion in an adventurous part of your chart at a friendly aspect to Mercury in your romantic sector. This is the third time in six weeks that Mercury and Uranus have brought the spirit of romance and adventure together but this time they are both in direct motion, looking to the future rather than the past. Our eyes in the sky. The Aquarius sun aspects Mars in Gemini today, giving us the tender push we need to be inspired and motivated. It's time to hit the ground running, climb every mountain, and take charge of your life. Mercury in Capricorn connects with Uranus in Taurus this evening, giving us the clarity and insight we need to make intellectual decisions about matters that have been weighing on us for quite some time. Our week begins on an optimistic note as the Sun in Aquarius sextiles Jupiter in Aries on Tuesday. 
This aspect can produce some serious windfalls as what we've been working towards suddenly becomes easy. This is a great day to start new projects, expand your circle, and take a risk. Then, lovely Venus unfreezes our hearts when it moves into starry-eyed Pisces on Thursday. The next four weeks can be a very romantic time as we enjoy seeing relationships through rose-colored glasses. However, don't forget to look before you leap into any major relationship. You may feel as though the stars themselves are conjuring your ideas today, as Mercury blows a kiss to ingenious Uranus. This celestial exchange will open your consciousness in unexpected ways, leading to moments of brilliance, personal epiphanies, and a seemingly endless stream of inspiration. Use this energy wisely by investing in your passions, spirituality, and personal projects, as doing so will bring major healing to your soul. Meanwhile, the Aquarius Sun aligns with Mars, bringing a responsible and efficient energy to the table that's perfect for addressing and chipping away at your desire for success and recognition. End the week on a social note when the Sun trines Mars in Gemini on Sunday. This is not the day to stay home. The vibe encourages us all to mix things up, especially since we get a ton of fresh ideas when Mercury in Capricorn trines Uranus in Taurus that same day. Try something new. The cosmic weather is quiet today until just after noon, when the Taurus moon sextiles Neptune in Pisces, stimulating psychic sensitivities. This is an ideal influence for making art or music. A better-than-usual understanding of mood, rhythm, and color allows us to recognize the beauty that surrounds us. The more we are tapped into our intuition and senses, the more we feel connected to the planet and each other. The universe will light a fire under your butt today, as the Aquarius sun blows a kiss to passionate Mars. This celestial exchange is all about taking action toward your hopes and dreams as the other side conspires to help you achieve such goals. Give yourself permission to think outside the box while embarking upon this journey while Mercury and Uranus work together to bring forth ingenious ideas and moments of brilliance. However, with the moon traveling through Taurus and the sector of your chart that governs all things hidden, it may be best to keep your plans under wraps for now. All at once, you have many things that demand your attention, and these tasks make your life more eventful. Of course, this slows you down. So, set clear priorities and concentrate on the most important matters. Don't be afraid to refuse friends, give your reason and if they are truly interested in you, they can accept a no on this occasion. We stand at a crossroads between tradition and innovation. Something has to give. In the late afternoon, the moon squares off with Saturn in Aquarius, dampening our mood. We may feel distanced from others, or overburdened by work. The more we attempt to ignore our duties and cheer up, the greater the gulf becomes. Looking for something, or someone, to blame, may produce a scapegoat, but accusations levied are unlikely to be fair. Take responsibility for your moods by spending time alone to gain perspective.